We got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs> All right. Good day, YouTubers. Don't forget, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I don't mean to be telling you what to do or anything. I don't even look like your father, but... <laughs> uh, anyways, <laughs> I'm like today. I'm parked just out there on the side of the road, and I'm looking for a spot that I discovered a couple of years ago. And it was some trash along the rock property line, some really old stuff. I didn't get a whole lot of it at the time, but I come back today because I want to metal detect around the area as well. So, that's what I'm doing. It's wet here too, and it's raining off and on. But anyways, hang tight folks. I'll get you back up if I find anything. Okay folks, so I just got a signal down here, scratch it up and it's an old can. And I see that I've actually stumbled upon some bottles of stuff here. Well, at least some glass. I'm not sure of the age. Doesn't look like it's anything real modern, but what's this right here? Oh, here's a bunch of them. Those are cork tops. Yes, sir. Woo! Ernest Sultana shoe dressing. Usually these are a real nice aqua blue color. All right. What's this one right here? It's like a frosted. It's frosted. Probably like an old powder jar or something. Some sort of toiletry or cosmetic bottle. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, I see another bottle over in there. Just a second, I'm gonna turn you off and I'll get you right back up just to keep this clip a little bit shorter. Here's the Verna Sultana shoe dressing bottle that I just dug up. And as you can see, it's just got strict lettering on it. And here's what I believe to be an older one here. And you can see the bluish hue to it. But it's got like a design on the face of it as well, so. Very cool. Let's get back to the site. Okay, so here we go. Let's go in and get this one here. Like I said, I was going to do more metal detecting this year. So far. Oh, and I can see it's broke. Ah. Uh, look at that. Row and Company Glasgow, big bottle. Yeah, that one's broke. There's a piece of stone there. That's broke. Oh yeah, bunch of stuff in here. Piece of stone there. Another broken one. I think I see some more stuff down in here. Yep, right there. I don't know if this is that rock property line I was on before or not. Kind of looks like it might be. But I never seen this stuff up in here if it is. I don't know how I could have missed it. Look, oh, there's the top to that Glasgow bottle. Gee, that's too bad, that's broke. Alright, hang tight. I'll keep poking around here and scratching. Okay, what do we got here, folks? Alright, it's another one of those frosted bottles. Pretty rusty, I'll have to clean that one up. <laughs> That'll take some work. But uh, there we go. There's another one back into circulation. Listen to that train. Oh. All right. Let's get back at it.
All right, I think this stuff is basically on the surface, but I'm trying to dig down a bit just to see if there's anything down in there so far, nothing other than what's just on the surface. A broken shirt, but I see I got a bottle right here. Don't know if it's whole or not, but it looks like a little. Oh, right on. Still got the glass stopper in it. Sweet. Little perfume or cologne bottle with the stopper. Nice. Wonder if that's actually some of the uh, contents inside there. Stoppers in there tight. That's a nice little find, folks. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, folks, still scratching around, moving leaves and branches and stuff. I just scratched this here up. What I believe is a suspenders clip. There's no lettering or anything on it, but it is an oldie. Rusty and crusty. Okay, neat little relic find. A bunch of broken stuff there. Put the bottles in the bag. Metal detector. <laughs> Let's get back at it. <laughs> it's definitely raining here, folks. I should have had my uh, sifter with me. This would have been a good spot for sifting. I just scratched up what looks like a couple old more perfect. Look at that. That one's got the that's a brass stopper in that one. Holy moly. That's a nice little perfume. And here's another one. It's got like frosted glass. I don't know if I can open that or not. It looks like there's a an applicator in there. Very cool. Wow. I might keep you up here for a minute and scratch around. I should go back to the vehicle and get a shovel too, maybe. Shovel and sifter. I don't think I have my sifter with me, though. Hmm. Base is chipped on it. And try to keep this somewhat neat in case I decide to come back and sift it. There seems to be a lot of little little stuff in it, a little small stuff. Look. A neat little item. Not sure what it is. Okay. Like I said, there seems to be a lot of little small stuff in here. I just scratched up another one of these. Oh, that one is open. Oh, neato! Check that out. Got a little glass stopper with a cork on it inside of the lid. Very cool. I bet the other one does too. It looks to be exactly the same as this one. Alright. Neat little find. That in the bag. That came out right in here. Here's a piece of fabric. I just want to peel open on camera here in case there's some neat little button or something attached to it. 
So far I don't see anything there. Well, you want to check this stuff. Actually, the reason why I wanted to come back to the site was because of a button that I had found here digging that uh, property line. Oh, pretty sure I still have it. I'll uh, show it here in a minute. Do a little clip or something, maybe. All right, let's keep going. Oh, look what I just scratched up there, folks. What a shame that's broke. Been some weird poison bottle. Oh, I think it's triangular shaped, actually. Yes, it would have been triangular shaped. Dang. Would have been nice. Nice shards. But uh, shame it's broke. Yep, would have been triangular. Frag. Okay, folks. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I got this patch here all scratched up, dug down so far. I'm just kind of putting the dirt in a pile. Got all the broken shards here, the metal and the tin cans there in a pile beside it. So everything's all concentrated there in one pile now rather than spread all about branches and leaves up there. I'm just going to keep on going the way I'm going because this seems to stretch down in there a little ways. So I'm just going to scratch all the stuff off the surface here. All the leaves and whatnot, and we can see get down underneath here a little bit. See if anything's there. Oh, there's an old bottom to a shoe that goes in the pile. <laughs> oh no way, folks! Check this out. <laughs> like, what the heck is that? I thought it was the top to a glue bottle. The rubber part. That's an orange clay pipe. Wow, first time I ever dug up an orange clay pipe. Am I ever glad I come back here today? I'll have to clean that out. Right on. I'll have to watch out for the stem too. Maybe the part of the stem's in there. I'll be able to glue it back on. Yep, for a minute while I scratch around. branches and debris yeah. see if anything comes out what's that look that's a stopper out of a uh, perfume right there very cool Clearing the leaves back here, folks, and I uncovered another little bottle here. Nothing uh, show stopping or anything, but check it out. A little Vaseline, Chess Bro Vaseline. That's a larger size one. Doesn't look to be manganese glass, but uh, I never know it might be. It's been covered up for quite a while, so I'll take it and see what happens. Sometimes you got to leave these outside for. You know, a year, two years before they start to turn. Other ones turn within a matter of minutes, so. Just scratch this fuse up. Kind of hoping there might be a date on it, but I don't really see one. Though there might be. That looks like it might say August there. I think I see an AUG. Anyways, I'm going to take it and uh, try to get it cleaned up and see what happens. If it uh, says anything, I'll let you know. Okay, folks, just going to do this real quick. Here's this fuse. It does have two dates on it. February 9th, 1897, and August 29th, 1917. As I suspect, this stuff is probably most likely from the 1920s. There's that perfume there. Couldn't get the lid off it. That liquid inside of it is a little more viscous than water, so I suspect it probably is the perfume. Here's these ones. These two were identical. Nice. Not sure what this item here is that goes together. 
If anybody knows, feel free to comment down below. That screws on top of there. There's that nice little uh, stopper there. And of course, the orange colored clay pipe. Okay, folks, I think I'm pretty much done with this little patch here. I think I got enough footage to put a video together for you guys to watch. But I'm going to head down through there a little further and do some metal detect and see if I can't pick up another patch. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I might have a recap, might not, not sure how I'm going to do it, so over and out for now, folks.